Now then, are you ready to discuss my offer? I certainly hope so. I honestly don't know what I'll do if you turn me down. It's grave business, you know? I'm not trying to apply undue pressure or anything, but yes, serious business. It's my missing companions, Eshrath and Dynia, the explorers whose bags we found out in the marsh, remember? I told you I sent them to recover Vaca stones, but that wasn't all they were looking for. They were looking for the remnant of Argon. A legend. Some say it's a massive gem, others a magical egg. Either way, I fear Eshrath and Dynia's disappearance is linked to their search. Zukas agreed to look into it, and it seems he's found something. Could you speak with him? Zukas's message said to meet him at the Tiba Enu field in Alton Mirhalil. Tiba Enu's a local sport. I have no idea how it's played. There's a ball involved, I know that. I'm, I'm babbling, sorry. I do this when I'm nervous. Uh, please, be careful. Oh, certainly. Zukas enjoys friendly relationships with practically everyone, even the Nagas. Some of Lilmoth's investors see him as a bit of a swindler, but that's rooted in their ignorance of Argonian culture more than anything else. The Nagas are a breed of Argonians. I guess breed is the term. Sounds a bit offensive, doesn't it? Oh dear. Um, well, let's just say they're a different kind of Argonian. The Deadwater tribe is a Naga group, but tribeless Nagas wander all over Merkmire. Hostile? Well, I mean, they're certainly aggressive, but hostile has all kinds of connotations I'd rather avoid. What matters is they react with violence to practically any intrusion. For instance, they abducted me once about a year ago. Well, one of my expeditions took a brief detour into Deadwater territory, they took us as hostages almost immediately. I tried to impress upon them my deep love and admiration for Argonian culture. <laughs> they broke my arm in three places, tied me to a raft, and sent me headfirst down Hukep Falls. Luckily, I'm a strong swimmer. I'm casting them in a very poor light. Honestly, if you can see past the idle cruelty, they're really quite pleasant. Honestly, I'm... Are you sure you want me to bring you into this? Eshraf and Dynia only knew its name, and now they've probably been kidnapped. Very well. As I said, no one really knows what the Remnant is, but it's just... it's just everywhere. Tree minders whisper about it when they think no one's listening. It's tucked away in poems and songs. It's always there. Just below the surface. Like I said, people think it's just a legend, so they ignore it. But once serious scholars like us start asking questions, start making those first quiet discoveries, all the opportunists crawl out of their holes to take their nibbles. All the folktales imply that the Remnant shares a deep connection with the Hist, but the rest is pretty murky. Songs about the Remnant almost always end with a hero plucking it from the roots of a tree and ushering in a new golden age. Others... Well, some of the songs end with an unworthy snake swallowing the Remnant and turning into a hideous giant that ravages the land for 100 seasons. So, keep an eye out for snakes.
Come on! Why are you just standing there? Let's go! Ah, son's blessings, Biko. You come to discuss friend Famia's missing explorers, yes? Only the scent of conspiracy. But for now, the scent is enough. The Dragonstar Caravan Company, a dishonest flock of thugs and traders, funnels information to someone outside Lomoth. Notes on Sierra de la Collection's business dealings, I think. Not yet, but that is soon to change. The orc Lozwug, who watches my eggkin play Tiba Enu, he serves the Dragonstar Caravan Company, a courier, I think. He carries a letter filled with his tradekin secrets. With your help, I will take it. I do not need to convince you? That is good, if a little disconcerting. Lowe's work shows loud, obnoxious interest in our game, Tiba Enu. Ask him to explain the rules. While he growls and rants, I will take the letter from his pocket. Simple, I think. Are you gonna play or what? What's the holdup? Tiba Inu? Tch, more like Tiba e, you know, stupid. This game's a joke. No tusk jabs, no eye gouges, just a bunch of rolling around and tail swinging. I have got no tusking idea, and neither do these lizards. When I got here, they were all just lying there. Then all of a sudden, half of them stood up and started slapping their tails croaking like mad and kicking balls around. I don't know, half a dozen maybe? They were bouncing them off that rock, and then the other team started hooting and slapping their chests like monkeys. They rushed the hill, formed a circle around a rock, and started standing on their heads. They started singing. Then one of them shouted, Enu! And everyone flopped over like they were dead. They laid there for 15 minutes, then the game was over, I guess. Tusking nonsense. If that's a sport, I'm a hearthwife's dustpan. Very well done. You must be half river boa, Biko. Those who looked hypnotized. No, no, I give you too much credit. He has a brain like a bone trout. But my tongue wanders. Let me read this. Oh, this is... Yes, this may rattle the cattails. It is not just notes on business dealings. It is a description of friend Famia. Where she walks, who she speaks with, what she eats, and so on. I had no idea she ate so many snails. On Famia and her explorer kin also, I think. We cannot be sure, though. Simple Lozwug carried only this letter. I know a place where more information can be found, but you will have to go alone. The Dragonstar Depot in Lilmoth. I leased them the land. They were very pleased, until it sunk. Now they slop around in there like angry mud moles. No one is welcome, least of all me. If you sneak into the depot, you may find more clues. I should tell you, the Dragonstar Dryskins are not over-fond of uninvited guests. If they see you, they will probably shout, or ring bells, or run in silly circles. So be cautious. And please try not to kill anyone. It always leads to headaches. It is like I said before, I wish to keep friend Famia safe. Ha! Huh. So you know about the Remnant too. Some rumors are like Willow Vipers, Biko, well hidden and best left alone. A conversation for another time, I think. It started with Domitia Nasica. She oversees the Dragonstar Caravan Company's affairs here in Merkmire. We made a bargain, a land deal. I negotiated in good faith, but she was lazy and inattentive, and so missed key details. Yes, she and her tradekin arrived during the dry season. She told me that they wished to build a trade depot on the Fen Island south of Lilmoth. I agreed to lease the land in exchange for the return of some treaties her company acquired years ago. 
I paper the walls of my home with evidence of dry skin treachery. That is a joke. Documents hold power in the Ojo world, especially old documents. Taken alone, they are mostly worthless, but combined with threat of conflict, they can be useful. Ojel, people who do not speak the Root's tongue. A kinder word for outsider. Well, not so kind in some circles. The Deadwater tribe uses this word like a knife. For Domitia? Yes. The island flooded, as it always does during the wet knee season. She grew furious, called me a swindler. Now they throw rocks at me any time I stray near the depot. Luckily, I am very swift, and they are very stupid. I should tell you, in the chilly lake we call negotiation, a good reputation is like a sturdy raft. A bad reputation is like a stone tied to your tail. Saxley will do not drown, but it is very difficult to see at the bottom of a lake. I am sorry, this is a poor metaphor. Yes, as the depot is sinking, the fence up against the swamp is in poor repair. There is a spot near the back of the camp where you can get in, but not out. This may be better than going in the front, yes? Here, I'll mark the spot on your map. What are you doing in there? Inu Kal Soku Hoto Grill.
Success? Do not let my lack of dancing and cheering fool you. I am very impressed. I did not think you would secure the clues we need so quickly. How did you fare in there? That is good. Taking a life closes more doors than it opens. A valuable lesson that goes largely unheeded by the Lilmoth Oljel and my Naga cousins. But again, my tongue wanders. We should discuss Fami's lost friends. What did you find? The blackguards? Kayok. They are a cruel bunch. Mostly tribeless Nagas and dry-skin Ojels. So, the Dragonstar Caravan Company provides spy reports to the blackguards. Then the blackguards snatch up the explorers when they stray outside the city walls. It is dead water make, but a dead water Naga would never give up a weapon willingly. Perhaps the blackguards tried to abduct dead water warriors too. I cannot be sure. I have heard nothing, but the dead water tribe never admits weakness. My doubt spine quivers, but there is only one way to find out. I will send word to my dead water friend, Jaxic Orn. You should return to Famia. Tell her what we discovered and encourage her to stay indoors. She will be safer there, I think. A murder in the heart of Lilmoth. Yes, that would be Jaxic Orn, I think. A call or war captain of the Dead Water tribe. Perhaps she came looking for that weapon you recovered. Jaxic and I are good friends. She would never admit it, though. Yes, why would I not be? Things are not so simple here, Biko. Naga warriors kill and kidnap and steal, yes. But we are all children of the root. If the Hist wills it, Jaxic might even kill me eventually. But she will still be my friend. Oh yes, definitely. Like I said, there are no guarantees with the Dead Water Tribe. It is like dealing with one of your stray bark dogs, I think. Scratch its chin right, it will listen. Scratch its chin wrong, it will rip out your throat. Though the Saxleal generally choose to live in tribes based around a history, Lilmoth is a merchant town with no true leadership. Oh, you're back. Excellent! Did you find Zukas? Any word on my missing explorers? Blackguards? Oh, those ill-mannered brutes are the worst kind of trouble. I have more unwelcome news. Our companions, Zadaza and Kirstaleth, have also gone missing. Zadaza went to conduct her own investigation. Kirstaleth decided to tag along. Really? I can't imagine that they'd be enthusiastic about helping us, but I suppose Zukas would know best. Before you go, would you mind sharing what you've learned with someone else? Cyrodiilic Collection's primary benefactor is just upstairs. Oh, goodness. I never even mentioned her before, did I? Her name is Cassandra, a wealthy antiquarian of great renown. She's been an invaluable partner, just like you. If you'll just follow me upstairs, I'll... Oh, oh, wait. Here she is now. Truri mentioned Famia. Excellent. Greetings. I am Cassandra. I regret that it's taken me so long to make your acquaintance. Famia told me all about your heroics in the Zanmir. Speaking of heroics, thank you for trying to find our lost explorers. Abducted by blackguards, were they? Very well. I do hope you will exercise caution. The blackguards are not particularly bright, but what they lack in intellect they make up for in brute strength. Our friend Zukas, for all his many virtues, is not a warrior. Yes, I'm familiar with Jack Sigorn, a very proud warrior. Hopefully not too proud. If we have common cause with the Deadwater tribe, it only makes sense to cooperate. Compromise and collaboration rest at the very heart of all great endeavors. Blackguards. Hmm. Unwelcome news, isn't it, Whiptail? I'll handle it. Give me two hours. No, no. Our new friend has the situation well in hand.
Welcome to my home, Biko. You arrived just in time. I arranged a meeting with my dead water friend, Jaxic Orn. She is very proud, so we must use a breeze-like touch. This will be a brief and probably bloody meeting if we do not. Cassandra, yes. You and Famia would have to speak to her, I guess. I am glad she sees the wisdom in talking to the Dead Water tribe. Cassandra has many flaws, but stupidity is not among them. You need me to describe them? She wears her flaws like I wear my feathers. Cassandra is vexovite. You would say persnickety, I think? Well, you would probably not say that. That is a very stupid word. But you take my meaning. She is very particular. For Cassandra, all the world is a mess. She loves clean angles, good posture, fitting things snug in tiny boxes. It is a very dry way to live, but who am I to judge? She probably thinks I am lazy because I sleep 14 hours a day. I see their approach. You make me wait too long, Zookas. The Deadwater tribe goes to war with the Blackguards, yes. I hunt one of them even now. But we do not need or want your help. Now, go back to your coast town, Ogel. The swamp will eat you if you do not. So, it is true. The Blackguards take hostages from the Deadwater tribe as well. As I said, Jaxic is very proud, but she would be a valuable ally if we could convince her to let us help. Too bad she runs away, yes? At least we have a lead. Yes, she said she was hunting a Blackguard even now, right? Did you see how her throat fin spread? How her pupils dilated and her tail stiffened as she turned to leave? Her prey is very, very close. We only need to follow her. We hunt the hunter. Scan the swamp for the bent reeds and broken fronds she leaves in her wake. The trail should eventually lead us to friend Jaxic and the blackguard she hunts. Simple, I think. Crouch down, Biko. Look for bent stalks, torn leaves, or muddy prints. Should be easy. Jaxic Orn rarely sneaks around danger. She goes through it, always.
Jaxic. Approach carefully. I grind my fangs. Following a dead water call is the act of a fool or a maniac. Sojay says fools and maniacs both bleed red. I will repeat myself. Once. I do not need your help. I hunt these blackguards alone. Our business is settled. Leave. The Ogel stands its ground. Brave. Or stupid. A flock of flat-toothed blackguards took refuge in this ravine. They snatched up some of my egg kin, your allies too, and threw them in cages. Now Sojay and I will hack these grills to pieces. I narrow my eyes. You and the Brightthroat wish to join me on this raid rather than pick the bones when the work is done. Fine. Burn the wagons. Smash their supplies. Kill any that oppose you. When all lies in ashes, we will speak again. Finally, you speak sense. Bear your fangs, Ogel. The hunt begins. So it's a fight? Hmm. I fight best from the shadows, Biko. I leave the direct approach to you. Zadaza is done with this place. So, these dry skins are good for something after all. I hate this swamp. I'm never coming back. Mud, dry skin. Here. 
Step away, bright throat. This one belongs to the Deadwater tribe. This one is known to us, Ogel. A blackguard savage who led the raid on our people. Now in our Hist's mighty name, I will hack it dead. If you want to talk to it, be quick. Soje is thirsty, and Sithis is waiting. I roll my eyes. Murder? When you gut a fish, is it murder? No. You only object because this fish walks upright and has a face. The Ogel is an animal. A foolish one. The Deadwater tribe does not suffer animals like this to live. I bare my teeth. A Naga prays for repercussions daily, outsider. Laggards slither about in Deadwater territory often. Too often. Perhaps finding this Ogel in pieces will finally lure them into open combat. Then we will skin them like catfish. As always, Jexic's beady Naga eyes see only vengeance and mayhem. I see opportunity. This blackguard is a survivor. Survivors are useful. If she returns to her swordkin with tales of what she witnessed here, it could discourage future attacks. Ha! Huh. How quickly Jexic forgets she is a kidnapper herself. The blackguards do not know the Deadwater tribe as I do. Let this dryskin tell her tale. By sparing one, we terrify one hundred. An ancient tactic we go, but very effective. These Argonians are, are crazy! Please! You can't let them kill me! I, I surrendered! I had nothing to do with the abduction of that lizard's people! I, I swear it! How in oblivion should I know? Orders came down to watch the captives. I didn't ask why. Maybe I, I should have, but I've got a daughter at home. If I don't follow orders, she doesn't eat. I had nothing to do with the abductions. I'm telling the truth. <sighs> Mara's mercy. You'd let that Naga murder a prisoner. Just let me think. All right. There was an interrogator who grilled a few of the captives. Something about a remnant. Yes, the remnant of Argon. He was asking everyone about it, even the Nagas. Yes, some Argonian relic, maybe? I really have no idea what the remnant is. Word is, there's someone with a heavy purse willing to pay out a fortune for any information, but that's all I know. Please don't make my daughter an orphan. So the blackguards seek the remnant. That is unwelcome news. Even so, killing a single bound prisoner will save no lives. Friend Jaxic thinks it is justice. It is not. Release the blackguard. Spare this one life, and we may save many more. I cannot be sure. But that is no bad thing. Nothing leads to more death than the need for certainty. You cut down many blackguards and laid waste to their operation. Let this dryskin describe it to her friends. Then they will know fear. Brave, Ogel. But foolish. Thank you. I, I'm finished with the blackguards. You have my word. You made the right decision, Biko. Thank you. So, the Ogels have learned about the remnant of Argon. That is frustrating. Something I cannot discuss, for now. Return to Famia and tell her this. She is a friend to the Saxleel. But the remnant is not some stone cup or golden idol. It is something much greater and more dangerous. I hiss with fury. How did these Ogel beasts learn about the Remnant? We will find out, Jaxic, provided you do not kill them all. You can do this. You can do this.
You're back! Fabulous! Some of my missing friends already tracked me down, telling tales of a daring, fiery rescue. <laughs> Marvelous! Uh, what happened out there? So the Deadwater tribe helped you after all? What a fascinating development. Between your heroism and Jaxic Orn's raw strength, I'm sure you showed those brutes what for. I hesitate to ask, but what did the Blackguards learn about the Remnant? Well then, there's not a moment to lose. We will redouble our efforts. We cannot allow those thugs to claim something as valuable as the Remnant. Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. We should probably discuss this matter with Cassandra. Well, no surprise there. Even so, they must understand we only mean to help. Zukas knows my motives are pure, and this Deadwater warrior proved she's willing to collaborate when the situation requires it. We'll win them over. I I'm sure of it. So, you return victorious. You have my most sincere gratitude, and that of the explorers you rescued. Now, as to the Blackguards, we should assume that they learned a great deal from our friends and the Deadwater Warriors. Wouldn't you agree? Unfortunate. I can tell you as an expert of Argonian archaeology, the idea of one of those ignorant thugs handling such a valuable antiquity makes me very uncomfortable. Did they mention why they seek this thing? I have some experience with wealth. Jangling gold in front of a pack of cutthroats is an act of crude desperation. This person is either a fool or a victim of some obsession. In either case, we cannot let this remnant fall into their hands. We can discuss that in a moment. First, we owe you a significant sum. It's only right that we settle the books on that first. I hope this is sufficient. I assure you, there will be much more if you choose to join us. Once again, you have my thanks. <laughs>